What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you your Sunday box office report. It is Sunday. If you live in California, it's pretty warm outside. Beach weather. Hey, it's that beach weather, but beaches are just kind of dirty and nasty here. Anyways, guys, a couple movies came out this weekend. I gave some box office predictions on my Weekend Warrior Wednesday video. So let's see if I was right. All right, coming in at number five in its second week, A Million Ways to Die in the West. And it adds another $7.2 million, bringing its grand total up to $30 million. Not too bad for a comedy. You know, I know a lot of people didn't really like it that much, even though I did. But, yeah, two each is out. Coming in at number four, still running pretty strong in its third week, X-Men Days of Future Past. And it adds another $14.7 million, bringing its grand total up to $189.1 million. It can, it's coming really close. Three weeks later, it comes out, and it's coming really close to uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Amazing Spider-Man 2 domestically has made 196.2, and X-Men has made 189.1. So it's getting really close to that. Just shows you right there. Which one was better? Coming in at number three, I told you guys, I knew this one wasn't going to make the top spot. I knew it wasn't going to be the winner. Edge of Tomorrow, just because yeah, there's a little bit of a stigma with Tom Cruise for some reason with people. I don't know why. And, you know, it just, ugh, yeah, whatever. Edge of Tomorrow, it, it, it actually started off pretty strong. This is actually not a bad opening whatsoever. 29.1 million. I mean, that's not bad at all. It didn't flop. That's not considered a flop. I think it'll hold out for a while, and honestly, I think this is going to be an instant sci-fi classic, and people are just going to enjoy it from years and years to come. Just a really great movie. If you haven't seen my review, check it out. I really enjoyed this one. Coming in at number two, I had a feeling that maybe this one would beat out Edge of Tomorrow, just because, you know, I don't know, people are just, people are flocking more to these uh, adaptations more than anything. Maleficent. And it adds another $33.5 million, bringing its second week, just second week, $127 million.3. $107.3 million, man. Not too bad at all for the Disney character. They've already announced Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid. All of them are coming to the big screen, guys. Live action should be interesting. And of course, coming in at number one, just because when I went to when I went to the movies to see Edge of Tomorrow, there was already a line for the midnight show, and this was at 7:30 at night, and these kids were going to wait four hours for this movie, this adapted book, The Fault in Our Stars. And this is why, why this is why I knew that the, this movie was going to make the top spot, just because there's a huge fan base from the book, you, you know, the young adult fan base. But I actually heard this one was pretty decent. It wasn't like some of the other shitty ad adaptations out there, mainly the shitty ones or the vampire ones come on this one's more a little more realistic a little more down to earth but yes it made 48.2 million dollars not bad at all man i'll tell you what what's her name i can't think of her name right now Haleen Woodley or something like that. Yeah, she is uh, just going to star in all these young adult. I mean, I guess basically put her in it if you wanted to be successful because she's been in two very successful adaptations, I think. Has she been in anything else? Probably. Who knows? I don't have her filmography up hand right now. Well, all right, guys, let me know what you saw this weekend and what you thought of it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you saw Edge of Tomorrow. I thought it was great. Maybe you saw The Fault in Our Stars. Probably be good, too. But let me know down below in the balls area what you thought of what you saw this weekend. And also hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and visit filmjunkie.com for your latest movie news trailers and film reviews well, all right guys i am david the film junkie and this has been your sunday box office report get back to whatever you're doing being lazy that's that's a given or you're praying i don't know what you're doing all right talk to you later